Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic kind of glitch portrait. So I've got my picture here. I'm going to look to create something similar to this one I've done already. So I've gone to file, open, found the picture I wanted. So I've got it here. Now we're going to just use mainly this one tool for this, which is the re rectangle select tool. And I'm just going to select a certain section of my photo. And I'm working on my background layer here. And I'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts for this, but you can use the menus here. So you can use copy and paste. So copy is control plus C and paste is control plus V. So I'm going to first of all copy my selection of the eyes onto a new layer. So control C and then control V. So then I get my eyes on one layer and I've still got my background image as a background. So then I'm going to use the move tool and you can either use your mouse to move this. So pick it up and grab it and move it. Or you can use the um, arrows keys on your keypad. You just need to make sure you've definitely got the move tool selected. I'm just going to nudge with my arrows on my keypad and you can see I'm nudging that across. And then I'm going to draw another box and create another set of glitches, glitched effect. So I'm going to click back onto my background layer. So I'm making sure that I'm working on the correct layer. This time I'm just going to grab a bit of the nose. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. You'll notice that comes onto this here, layer two. Go back to my move tool and then I can grab that and move that sideways. And I'll do another section. I'll just keep working through each section, deciding where I want to move it, making sure each time I come back to the background, Control C, Control V to paste. So I get another image there. And then I can move the mouse section there. Now, I'm now going to work back onto the eye section. I want to section, I want to get a, uh, a section of that copied and moved. So I'm going to come back onto my layer one and I'm going to reselect the eye in there. Again, I will copy and paste that, Control C, Control V. And that will allow me, if I go to the move tool, to move that out again. I think I'll do something to the top of the head and something to the bottom of my picture as well. So we'll just have we'll just have a selection there. Go back to my background, control C, control V, and then move that, probably move that one this way. And I'll do something similar down here somewhere, maybe to my tie. Control C, Control V, and then shift that one along a little bit. I'm then going to save that as a Photoshop document, just in case I want to come back to it. So I'll go to Save as PSD. It will then download. And I'm also going to save it as a JPEG so I can put it into my work. So then this box comes up, press Save, and that will download again.